I have basically no health at all. Maybe I can use an item. Hopefully that'll help. Brought me up to about half health. Need to get out of this jelly right now. I really do hate that royal jelly bit. Simply because it'll just eat your health right up. Ah. Okay. There we go. Just the queen. Die. Die. Go. Wow, that actually spreads pretty far. It's already swallowing up more to hit me with. Okay, they're about to do it. It basically doesn't matter where I go, it's gonna split up right where I'm at anyways. Can't go very far either because I'm afraid I'll aggravate the enemy. Have it enter this fight, which I don't want. And bam. Why did that not do anything? I destroyed a burrow. <coughs> Sorry about that. I don't understand. Stupid brood mark. Is this mission glitched or something? Got a little too close there. Captive sitting here. What then? Is there another burrow somewhere? <laughs> okay. Whoops. Supposedly, there is a regular burrow, which I should have destroyed first. Somewhere along the edge of, edge of the circle. Here it is, okay. 
Now, what I don't understand is why they would make this one more hidden than the other one that's huge and is sitting right in the middle of the forest. Okay. We just destroy this one. This won't take very long at all. It's only a thousand HP. Probably two fist hits will do it. Or not. What the heck? There we go. Okay, it might take a couple more than just one. Go away! Why can't I ever do these things in peace? Ah, uh, they're regenerating their health. And another one shows up. Great. Hey, a cabs. Make these things so much. All right. Yeah, they notice as soon as I hit it, so. Now I have to destroy the royal one. Great. I have to go destroy the one that I already destroyed once. I'll probably off screen it this time. Discovered Blue Ridge Mine. Oh. This is that place we're supposed to be finding information about. I see a piece of lore way up there. I hope I didn't just screw myself over and there's no easy way of getting back up there. That cliffside looks too steep to uh, get up. Um. Okay. They stopped following me. And finished. That took a bit longer than it was supposed to, I will say that. They really need to like switch the positions of the two burrows. Make the royal one less uh, noticeable and not in the center of this forest. And the burrow in the spot where the royal one is. Just switch their places and they did be pretty much fine after that. This is a lot of powerful enemies in this area. Just huge enemies. Oddly enough, this is not that burnt out looking area on that map, so there's an area even harder than that. Harder than this in the uh, map area. Good luck, dude. I'm not going back there. So we have to reach the Sasquatch somehow. And one shield go away. And these windows just see you from very far away and then just start running after you.
Let's see here. Another one. It just looks like cliffs here. I can't. Maybe I have to like walk the cliffs. As the Sasquatch is named Cliff Walker. Here, yeah, that's supposed to be a subtle hint. It's just like right over this cliffside, right up here. Perhaps there's a set of stones I can jump on that can get me up there. Somewhere. Might be up here. Pretty high up now. Still not quite enough though. It looked like there might have been entrance to those trees on the map. I might have gone a bit far. Oh yeah, yeah I have. That's quite far from where I was. I keep on in the way I'm going, I'm gonna hit the quarry. Take this first though. Might as well. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't want to go's attention, I believe. That's all that's usually been around here, I want to go's. That one, I think, just appeared right in front of me. Don't know where I'm going, but hopefully I'll reach something. Uh, I remember jumping up here. Had to go. There we go. Huh. They're still trying to get up here somehow? Might be able to just. Oh wow. Okay. I think I might actually be able to manage to do this. Oh yeah! Where's the Sasquatch at? Oh, there he is. Okay. Well, he seems to be friendly. 
Kill Briadox. Who's Briadox? Oh, that must be Briadox. Am I aiming high enough for you? Come on. Or maybe it won't let me attack until I've got its attention. Nah, it's probably just the sloping, so I'm still not able to attack it. There we go. These are actually fairly easy enemies because their powerful attacks are so slow that you can easily dodge them. And there we go. That mission is complete. I believe they had one more for us. That's a little trick I learned. <laughs> the sneeze again. Uh. Let's repair some stuff. Wow, three times? I don't usually do it three times in a row. When we just did adventure tours, I got a lot of bright-eyed questions about spirits, ancestors, healing the power of the earth and such. I'm Wabanaki Confederacy. I must be into that stuff, right? I never thought of it as a mystical thing, a tribal thing, to treat the land with respect. We learn from our elders. You can't find much older out here than the land. That's the starry-eyed version. The one down here in the grit is that the land will kill you and keep on going like a logging truck. So you respect it and try to find peace with that idea. Understand that it's so much bigger than all of us and has its own big plan. Yes, this world has slipped out of balance. And yes, we have words for that with a whole bunch of owl sounds. But you and I have been walking on a giant all these years. It just shrugged its shoulders. Before the storm, Paul and I were talking expansion. I'd talk, he'd agree. On the mainland, maybe up in the Appalachians. Been tracking sightings of unidentified creatures there since we got started. You cross off half of them as overactive imagination, and we're still talking dozens. 
We can move up from 100 a month to two a week. Damn, but those New Yorkers can't get enough trophies. Decorating their boardrooms or something. Sightings were on the up and up here too. Not just the Sasquatch and the Wendigo. There's something out there. Different to the rest. I hear its call some nights. It's a wrong sound. Not an animal call, but something that's making a noise like it thinks an animal should. Doesn't even carry on the air right. If it's marking out its territory, that's the best of a bad situation. It means it's not coming down here. If there's still a tribe here, I'd call it a dysfunctional one. I mostly keep out of Wabanaki business. They can't get along with each other, let alone cope in the real world. And half the townies still lock up their mouthwash when they see one of us coming. <laughs> then there's the matter of our sacred land. Sometimes they can't trip over themselves fast enough to sell it off by the yard. Others, they dig in their heels even when psycoil suits are here sweating money. Me, I think they like the fantasy that there's good soil to protect and sour soil to make the evil eye at. It doesn't work that way. People gave Blue Ridge a bad name, not ancient curses. No one disturbed the burial grounds, and yet there they are, up and walking anyway. It can take days for these boys to agree on the communal food order. If they were the defenders of this island, I'd feel bad for the island. All right. All right. Hello, everyone. If you're going out to the coast, I'll give you some advice on the house. Better listen up. My man here is not usually in the business of parting with anything for free. <laughs> she makes sure I get paid by the hour. <laughs> anyway, you'll want to be prepared. They're a territorial bunch, the Pale Men, and they rile up in packs. You've got to use the land to your advantage. Get in the hunt and turn their pack mentality against them. Same as you would with any other beast. Even though they're sure not the same as any other beast. I swear it's as if they can hear what's going on inside your head. <laughs> so I'm pretty safe around them. I made it through to the surf once and caught sight of something in the fog. If it wants to stay there, that suits me just fine. It was big. Bigger than that Sasquatch last July? Oh, hell yeah. And he was 600 pounds, but mad with old age. Knew his time had come, and that's the way of things. But that creature out there doesn't play by any rules of nature. Birth, the middle of it, death. That thing has passed beyond death. And way beyond our league. Alright, sounds like they have a problem then. Let's go ahead and take care of it for them. It looks like there's a couple other people here too that are probably going to have missions, so we're going to be here for a while. Before we head on. I think after the trailer park we'll probably be heading to um that mansion out in the middle of nowhere because that's the place that's intrigued me the most since I've gotten here. So let's go ahead and begin. Looks like we have to head about 150 meters out. Probably going to be a bit more than that because we have to go all the way around this unless we cut through. Oh boy, it looks like it's Drog. We got some killing to do, so let's go ahead and start. That's probably not good that the corpse is getting up.
There we go. That's not what we want. This is what we want. Whoa, what's with the bubble? We've shortened our health down from, uh... What, I think it was 34 before to 3,000? For us an extra attack rating. I don't think I'd go any lower than 3,000, because I think that's probably too low to go beyond that. I can understand in dungeons having ridiculously low uh, health in return for ridiculous uh, attack power, but uh, when you're going solo like me in the uh, story, uh, that's probably a bad idea to try. Finish this one off, and then we'll probably get to the next tier. Yep. Kill ten brew pods and five incubators. Guess it didn't do anything. I thought that meter starts to go like really fast or something when you get near it. And you have to kill it before the meter gets all the way up, and then. Guess I killed two at once, never mind. This is easy. This is very easy. Just two more. Might have to fight one of these sets of enemies because there's not really much space to move around. On. The music started playing, but nothing's attacking me. I see a piece of lore in the boat over here. That's kind of annoying. Probably should finish this off because I did damage it. Let's grab this while we're here. The fog lore. <laughs> 